Hello folks. Today I wanted to demonstrate how you can use the index function along with count A to find a dynamic range and find the last, uh, for instance, the last five objects in the list or whatever number you'd like and then use that same idea to create a rolling average of the last five say of a list of numbers. So first of all, let's take a look at the index function. Equals index, and what we're going to do is just index A2 to A. And what that's going to return is just a list of everything that's in A2 to A. It's just indexing that range. Then I'd like to do a count, and this is going to be count A of a2 to A. And that's going to show me, I don't need to autofill that, that's just showing me that I have 15 <coughs> objects in this range. Now to find the last name in that list, I could use the index function again, so equals index, and we're going to do A2 A again, and I could start to do something like that. And then I'm going to use that um, number that we came up with in column C2 and come up with the last name in the list, which is Robbins. And that's based on us using that number. But that's not dynamic. So if I add a new name here, for instance, Thomas, um, or Tom or whatever, notice my last list in the name doesn't change even though my counts change. So what we're going to do instead on this one we're going to take this formula, go ahead and copy this formula, we'll come over here and paste it, and in place of the 15, let's go ahead and use this. So we'll come in here, we'll go ahead and instead of using 15, we will do a count A. And notice now, even though, and let's go ahead and fix that to Thomas just because. So now notice our count A is 16 and we're using that 16 in this formula. So that would give us the name Thomas instead of if you hard code in the 15 and it changes, then that's not really giving you what you'd like. So let's find the fifth from the bottom. So we would just simply take this formula here Let's copy it, and let's go ahead and paste that formula. And then let's take that and subtract 5, or let's subtract 4, because we want the fifth from the bottom. So if we count up, uh, here's the fifth from the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're subtracting 4 to get the fifth from the bottom, and we come up with the name right. So this is our last name in the list. This is the fifth from the bottom. So we could combine these two things. Let's go ahead and copy this formula. And let's go ahead and paste it. And of course, we're going to get that. And then we're going to take this formula. We'll copy it. And then here, what we're going to do, except you have to always remember to escape out of there. Here, we're going to go ahead and use a colon and paste that in there. And when we hit enter, we're getting the fifth from the bottom and we're getting the last in the list. So if we were now to add using this function, um, you know, a new name, of course the index works, it adds the names. Count A is at 17, if you can see our hard coded list is still at Robbins, but now the last name is Connor. Fifth in the bottoms is now Jones instead of Wright, and so forth. So you can see how we can use the index function to find these, uh, to be able to list out these these numbers or these these uh, these names in this case. Now, what might be nice is to do this with numbers. So we could take this same formula. That would be this one. Let's go ahead and take that formula. Let's copy it. And let's go ahead and 
let's paste it here. And of course, we're going to get that, and I really want to reference this console. The best way that I would do this is on a Mac, I do Command Shift H and bring up the Find Replace. And what I'd be finding is A2 colon A, and I'd be replacing it with H2 colon H. And I don't want to do that on all sheets. I just want to do it on this range, insert within formulas, replace all. Uh, let's see, I must have something wrong there. Uh, it's I, no wonder. It's I to I. So we're looking for, and we'll replace all. And you can see that we have the last five digits, 664 to 487. If we added a new digit in here, 1,000, we get to 385 to 1,000. So now we're, we're collecting the last five. So what we can do, let's go ahead and get rid of that just to see what our average is. We could take this formula here, let's go ahead and copy that, and then we could go ahead and paste that formula there, and then we could do an average of that of this function here. And the problem with this right now is that we're still referencing, uh, no, we're good, we're referencing H2H. So we're referencing H2H, okay, we're referencing H2H. So that works out just fine. So now if we add, say, a number like 1,000, notice how our rolling average changes. If we grab this set of numbers and look at our average, we can see that that matches. So as we add or subtract numbers from this, we're getting the average of the last five. So it's uh, what we call a last five rolling average. And we're doing that again in the, with this formula using the index function and the count A function and the average function to come up with something that would be useful in that kind of calculation.